Marnie Skullgar is one of the coolest Ultramarine characters. He is not only popular on tabletop, he is also a fancy character in the new Space Marine game. And today we're gonna build this exact guy. Let's take a look at what we have in the box. We have two Vintrix Honor Guard and the Kalgar himself. We will go for the most iconic look of him with gauntlets of Ultramar and bear head. Inside of the box we find a booklet with instructions. This is three pages of Kalgar instructions. We also have a number of bases, three bases. A larger one obviously is the one for the Kalgar. We're gonna use it today. We have a small transfer sheet and we have two spruce. Really, really nice looking spruce. Let's start with Taking a look at what do we have here. It looks for me so far that his armor is some sort of a variant of Gravis armor, but I'm pretty sure it has some sort of a very special name. Let's start with the torso, number one and number two. This is bit one and this is bit two. First two bits are prepared. Let's see how they are supposed to sit together. It's supposed to be like this. Let's glue it. After that, they want us to proceed with leg number three. This is leg number three. Leg number three is prepared. Let's see how it should fit together over here very, very nicely. There is a look, very clear look, so you cannot really mess this up. I'm gonna put some glue here. Moving forward, we go for another leg, number four. This is the leg number four. The leg number four is cleaned up. Let's see where it should be. It should be here. Very nice. Let's glue it. This is how it looks so far. Very, very cool. Then we put protection beats number five on the left leg. This is beat number five. The leg protection is cleaned up. It should be placed here like this. Very, very nice. Let's put some glue. This is how it looks so far. Very, very good. And the same goes for the right leg with beat number six. This is a beat number six. Beat number six is prepared. Should be placed here. Very good. Let's glue it. All right. These are our legs. Now they suggest we do a bunch of smaller things attached to the torso and uh, I think we will start with the upper back number eight. This is bit number eight. This is our upper back number eight. Let's see how it should be attached to the rest of the body. It should be sitting like this. There we go. Gonna put some glue here. Very, very, very nice so far. Then let's go with beat number nine, some sort of a crook's terminator with an eagle sitting on the chain over here. This is number nine. Beat number nine is very, very, very small. Let's see where it should be. Should be sitting somewhere here. There is kind of a lock here, and if you if you just place this thing over here. You will find the position in which it should be attached. I'm just gonna put some glue, a little bit of glue over here. And that should be enough. Really carefully placing this thing here. Yes, this is it. You see, this is how it's supposed to be. There is no way you mess this up unless you keep the glue for too long and it melts too much plastic. 
Let's go with number 10, this thing in front of him, like an apron of some sort. This is thing number 10. Bit number 10 is prepared. Let's try fit it. So there is a very distinct look over here. Should be like this. There is no way to mess this up. It is also a very distinct look. You can't really mess it up. Then we go for beat 12, this thing on his side. This is beat number 12. Let's try fit beat number 12. Should be sitting here, like this, over here. I'm gonna put some glue here. Also very prominent locus here, here we go. Moving forward, they want us to do the same with the other side, with the right side, with number 13. This is beat number 13. Beat number 13 also has a very prominent lock over here. Should be sitting on this side, like this. Here we go. This is beat number 13. And now they offer us to put a head, either 11, a bear head, or a helmeted head 42. So we're gonna go with the bear head 11. This is bear head 11. This is the head of Kalgar. And it should be placed here, like this, somewhat like this. So for, for this bit, if you want to paint it really well, I would recommend partial assembly. Because otherwise it would be a little bit challenging to paint it from behind. So if you really want to have him paint it perfectly, paint the head first and then put it in place. I myself will put it in place anyway, because I don't care that much. I'm gonna put some glue over here. And I'm gonna drop the head like this. So this is our Kalgar's head. It is gonna be sticking in place correctly, because it also has kind of a guidance. There is no way to mess this up. Moving forward, we assemble the left arm from beats 14, 15, and 16. We start with 14. This is beat number 14. Beat 14 has a bolter, so we will have to drill a couple of holes over here. Our bolter is prepared, so now we need more bits of the left arm. Number 15. This is the beat 15. Bit 15 is cleaned up. Let's see how it should be assembled together. Should be something like this. Let's glue it. Here we go. And now we are missing bit 16 that should be sitting here. This is our bit 16. The bit 16 is prepared. Let's see how it should be sitting here. Should be like this. Very good. And this is our bit 16 in place. So our hand is ready. Let's see where it should be attached. There is a lock over here, so you cannot really mess it up. And I'm gonna put some glue over here. This is where the hand should be. Very, very nice. We move forward to the right arm. So they tell us we should start with the 18 and then attach number 19 over here. This is beat 18, very beautiful. This arm has another integrated bolter, so we're gonna drill some holes over here. The bolter is prepared, looking nice. And now we need a bit number 19. This is the bit number 19. Bit 19 is cleaned up. Let's see how it should be sitting here. Somewhat like this. Let's glue it. Here we go. Now to bit number 20. This is bit 20. This is our bit 20. And it should be sitting somewhere here. This is how it should be. The trickiest beats and the trickiest look so far. 
make note that not only do you have to make this lock work, but you also have another one over here. This is how it should look like. Now the bit 21. This is bit 21. Bit 21 is prepared. Should be sitting here like this. I'm just going to glue it directly. Here we go. The left arm should be attached to torso over here. There is also, as you can see, a look over here. Let's try to combine them together. So this is how it looks. And as you can see, this arm is very close to this bit. So maybe, just maybe, you need to paint this and then glue it. I will glue it directly anyway, but uh, for you it might require partial assembly depending on how you want to have your minis painted. This is our right arm. Our Calgar is in a very, very dynamic pose. Let's put shoulder pads 17 and 22. We start with 17. This is a shoulder pad 17. Shoulder pad 17 is prepared. A really, really, really cool shoulder pad. And it should be sitting somewhere here. Like this. Here we go. So you can see that there is also a lock over here, this one, that will make sure that you have it in the right position. I'm gonna put some glue over here. This is the place for our shoulder pad, looking very nice. And now shoulder pad number 22. This is a B22, very beautiful, Shoulder pad 22 is here. It should be sitting on this arm like this. Also, it has kind of a look in form of this thing. And there is obviously a bump over here that will fix it in place. Very, very, very easy. Looking really, really cool. So this is the Calgar we have so far. Now we need to put the Cape 23. Again, this is probably gonna require partial assembly if you wanna paint him perfectly. But I'm gonna be putting it anyway. This is our Cape 23. Let's see how it should be placed here. Should be something like like this. As you can see, it covers pretty much quite a lot of his back. So if you wanna if you wanna really carefully paint him everywhere, you wanna place the cape after you paint it. I'm just gonna put it here straight away. This is our cape. Looking very nice. Very, very cool. Now we need to assemble the backpack, number 24 and 25. We start with 24. This is the backpack 24, and this is the bit 25. The backpack is cleaned up. Now we need to put these bits over here, like this. I'm gonna glue it. This is how it should be. Very nice. And now the backpack is supposed to be placed here, like this. Again, maybe if you want to paint everything really, really nicely, you want to paint these parts first and then put the backpack. I will put it here directly. There we go. The backpack is in place. This is our Calgar so far. Very good. Let's go further. Now we need the belts 26 and 27, 28 over here. Okay, we start with 26. 
This is bit 26. This is our bit 26. Let's see, it should be here. All right, took me a while to figure this out. This one is not done really well, uh, at least in my case. So there is a pin at one side of it. This pin should go into this hole. And this part should go really over here. I'm just gonna glue them and uh, try to make it work. But um, yeah, if you did something a bit inaccurately like I did, it might be challenging. All right, so this is how I ended up with this thing. Uh, it clearly was not assembled perfectly because there was supposed to be less space over here, but I think this is good enough. Now I will go to 2728. Actually, we start with 27. This is B27. This is our B27. Let's see if we can put it in place. I guess this is how this bit should be looking like. And um, I'm gonna try to glue it now. All right, this is how I kind of made it work, but uh, I'm very unhappy with it uh, because it seems like that this thing is supposed to be fitting a bit better. So what I just did, I glued it loosely over here and here, and then I put extra glue around. So it melts and it will sit tight more or less, but I'm very, very unhappy with this uh, feeder belt. Don't get baffles if you if you cannot uh, fix them correctly <laughs> it is it is diabolically hard we also need to put some extra stuff over here which is gonna be number 28 this tiny thing over here is number 28 this is number 28 let's see how we could be putting it over here so i think it should be somewhat like this i'm gonna put some glue here I noticed that on the pictures they are looking more like going in this angle. So that is what I did. I just tried to move them a little bit. It's total mess over here, but uh, yeah, this is what it is. Moving forwards, we will have to put him on a tactical rock number 7. And then there will be also a Tyranid hat number 43. We take this base. This is a 50 millimeter base. And uh, we need to find a tactical rock number 7. This is the tactical rock number seven. The rock is cleaned up. We are supposed to put his leg over here somehow like this, somewhat like this. I'm gonna put some glue over here. This is our, our leg. And we gonna put all this on the base over here. So let's just go ahead, put some glue over here. And after that, I drop him on the base in a way that his head is roughly in the middle. Somewhat like this. Very, very good. And uh, we need a Tyranid hat 43. This one, this is the head. The head is cleaned up, so we're gonna glue it and put it on a base too. And it should be residing over here somewhere, like this. There's a dead Tyranids, looking very, very authentic and very, very nice. And uh, this is, my friends, our Marnias Kalgar. Let's take a look if we have missed anything. We built torso, leg, another leg. We put some protection here, some additional protection here, all these bits, another protection bits on the right, a head, an arm, another arm, shoulder guards, cape, backpack, one belt, another belt, some ammo, tactical rock, and a Tyranid head over here. And this is what we got as the end result, my friends. So this is our Marnius Kalgar. 
standing proudly on a tactical rock doing his Kalgar thing. Let's compare Kalgar to a captain. You can clearly see that captain is a little bit smaller. Kalgar is a little bit larger, taller kind of mini. But this is totally, totally expected from a hero of this magnitude. And we also can compare Kalgar to a Terminator. So the Terminator is uh, pretty much of a similar size. Even though his armor is kind of like a Gravis looking armor. Uh, even though it's custom one, it is of a t almost of a Terminator size. All right, couple of words uh, in the end. Very fine mini to build, very fun. The only problem that I have seen in the, with this mini is the joints over here, where you have to assemble the arm, the right arm, was not enjoyable, and the feeder belts were not enjoyable at all. So those ones are really 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 underwhelming if you ask me you also want to assemble a couple of beads separately if you want to paint him really well for example a head cape and the backpack needless to say that feeder belts also should be assembled afterwards but uh, other than that this is a really cool mini very enjoyable very satisfying and uh, it sits as a centerpiece of your army on the tabletop. And uh, that is pretty much everything I have today, my friends. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this mini? What do you think of Marnie as Kalgar? What do you think of his behavior in Space Marine 2? If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It will really help me to move forward with the minis. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for your attention. Max is out. Take care. Bye.